In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating an equilibrium constant from an equilibrium concentration. In this problem, you're going to be given a chemical reaction, and then you're going to be given the concentration of each of the three substances when the system is in equilibrium, and you're being asked to calculate the value of the equilibrium constant. In some versions of this problem, you'll be given, instead of concentration, you'll be given a pressure of a gas. Whether you're given concentration in units of molarity or some sort of pressure, uh, like in units of atmospheres, you're going to solve this problem in the exact same way. The first thing that you should do is write the equilibrium expression for the chemical reaction. Remember that this is going to be a fraction. On the top of the fraction, we're going to write our products, and each product is going to be raised to its own stoichiometric coefficient. The product of this reaction is SO3. We're going to use the square bracket notation, um, which means that we're going to be entering the molarity of SO3. And then because the stoichiometric coefficient of SO3 is 2, we'll be raising this to the power of 2. And on the bottom of this, we're going to enter information for our reactants. Our reactants are SO2 and O2. The stoichiometric coefficient for SO2 is a 2, so that will be raised to the power of 2. And then we also have the O2 molecule. Once we get the equilibrium expression written, then we can go ahead and enter the data from the table that is provided to us. We're going to be plugging in the concentration of SO3, which is 0.31 molar, don't forget that this is raised to the 2. This is getting squared. We're going to enter in the concentration of SO2, which is 0.9, and that's also getting squared, and the concentration of O2, which is 1.4. And again, if you're being asked to solve this problem with units of pressure, you're going to be solving the problem in the exact same way. Nothing is going to be different. So now we just need to do the math on this problem. Just need to be a little bit careful when you're entering these numbers into your calculator that you don't make any mistakes with all those exponents there. And I'm getting 0 0.0847. Pay attention to how many significant figures Alex wants. 0 0.085. This is a unitless number. So notice when I took these numbers um, from the data table and put them into this equilibrium expression, I just pretended like the units weren't even there. And that is how we calculate K. So there are no units when the numbers get entered into the equilibrium expression. The answer is a unitless number, no units down here.